Hello guys and dolls and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I've got another Christmas themed episode for you. This is one for all those Frozen fans out there. I have, ta-da! This amazing doll set, Anna and Elsa from the new Olaf's Frozen Adventure short which is a Christmas themed short and this doll set is from the Disney store and it's absolutely gorgeous. I was so lucky to get these dolls, they were a gift from my friend Matthew who runs the brilliant website My Magic Holiday. They are Disney destination and Orlando specialists and they can book you holidays at Disneyland Paris, at Disney World, on the Disney Cruise Line and much much more. Their holidays are APTA and ATOL protected. They are also cheaper than booking direct and they can guarantee to beat any quote. Also don't forget to follow My Magic Holiday on Instagram and Twitter and start planning your dream Disney holiday. So thanks again to Matthew and My Magic holiday. This doll set is absolutely gorgeous and I actually really like the look of this short. Even though I do have some issues with Frozen, it's not my favourite Disney film, but I cannot wait to open them. It's got the kind of new Disney box design with the little strip that comes out here. It's got the Olaf's Frozen Adventure logo in there and it says Anna and Elsa doll set. Um, it also says it in other languages. And then it's kind of like a snowflake design going around. There's Olaf and then on the back there's this cute picture of uh, the three main characters and Sven and Olaf and there's little houses on the side. I think it's really adorable. I absolutely love it. These new Disney boxes are very modern and simple and I mean I'm not sure how I feel about it. I quite like it. It means your attention is drawn more to the products, the dolls, um, rather than all the stuff on the outside. So now I've shown you the box I'm going to open these dolls and give you guys a closer look. Okay guys and dolls, they are free and these dolls are absolutely gorgeous, they're, they're insane. The clothes are so nicely made, I just can't get over them. And like, the, the Disney Store dolls are just such nice quality, I wish other doll companies made dolls as nice as the Disney Store dolls because they're just gorgeous. So let me show you, let me show you Elsa first because, um, you know, she's the queen. I think she's got a new face mold from the original Elsa doll and she just looks, she looks really happy and smiley and um, I love her makeup, she looks really cool. And then I love that they've put like what looks like a piece of holly in her hair and yeah she just looks really cute, she's got her little hair flick and her hair is like glued into place really, really perfectly. Obviously I love her braid and it's nice and long, I love that. And then as for the outfit, I kind of wish it was slightly more different from her original outfit, although now looking at it, it is quite different and it's made out of a different material, it's obviously like this is meant to look kind of leathery and her cape comes from her shoulders this time instead of from like underneath and I, lo I love this cape, I love how long it is. It really annoys me with Elsa dolls when they make her cape just come to the bottom of her dress because no, it's meant to like trail out behind her, there's meant to be some like flow to it and this one has a little bit of flow, like it comes out a little bit further than her dress, which I really like. And obviously she's got her fluffy bits up the top, and I absolutely love that. I just wish it had some fluff at the bottom, you know? But yeah, I love it at the top, it looks really cute, uh, and it's got little tiny, like, what looks like red gems in it, which is quite cool, kind of matches the holly in her hair. And then the actual dress part is made out of this, like, faux leather. It's really cool, and obviously, like, it's blue, and it's got loads of really cute little details, like on the hair, and then coming down the sleeves and on the top part looks really nice and then obviously this detailing at the bottom is also really cool and all the detail is, is covered in glitter as well which is really nice and then the cape itself also has all this incredible detailing it's got a little bit crumpled in the box but um yeah it looks really cool and like I said before I love how it like flows out behind her I just love I love this outfit these dolls are so nicely made now she does have flat feet and as I've mentioned in other doll reviews, I'm not a big fan of the flat feet because I have this one doll where the feet are like that and it looks really weird. But yeah, her shoes are really awesome though. Like they're really small so I'm gonna have to get up really close to the camera. Very movie accurate, um, kind of giving me Cinderella realness <laughs> because they obviously look like they're made of ice so they're kind of see-through. She's obviously poseable in the arms, um, she's got bendable legs, which I love. I miss these legs, the like kind of rubbery ones. They're, they're just brilliant. So yeah, that was this doll and I just think she's absolutely gorgeous. So now let's move on to Anna and I love this outfit. This outfit is really cool and it's very Christmassy. Uh, it's very Nordic. I think they're from Norway. 
Are they from Norway? I can't remember. If I give you a look at her face, she's got a really, really cute smiling face. And again, um, it's super, super movie accurate. Like, she looks exactly how she does in the um, short. And I love this, like, she's got like a holly crown. Really cool. And her hair is just so intricate. I love what they've done with it. She's got a little braid. Look at that, going all the way across there. That's just awesome. Like, how did they do that? <laughs> it all comes back into a little bun. Again, I don't know how they did this, but it looks really cool and I hope it stays in that position. <laughs> and she's got her cute little fringe. Everything is like glued to perfection. I love it. And then if we move on to her outfit, the little jacket is really cute. It's again made out of um, a slightly lighter colored faux leather kind of material. It's got these little bells going around the top. Some of the pattern follows into the back, which we never see. They never follow into the back. So again, the quality at the Disney store is just on point. It's got these cute little buttons at the top of the jacket and then if we open her top she's got this really cool little pendant hanging down at the top of her shirt. There are just so many amazing little details on these dolls. Disney Disney does such a great job with their dolls. And she's got this like sash tie tied around her waist. Um, some of it's hanging down here and again she's got really cool little spotty details on her cuffs. And then she's also got this Christmas pattern going round the bottom of her dress, which I absolutely love. And again, it carries into the back, which is just, you know, extra points, A star, A star to Disney for doing that. And then she's got these really cool boots as well. They've colored everything in. They've got these cool little patterns going down the front. And I think with this doll, the flat feet really works because she's wearing boots, so it makes a lot of sense. So there she is, and just I just can't get over how much detail, how much effort they've put into these dolls. They're really gorgeous. Any Frozen fan is gonna absolutely love them. There they are together. I cannot wait to see Olaf's Frozen Adventure now and see these guys in action. I think it's gonna be a really Christmassy fun short. I just wanna say thank you again to My Magic Holiday for giving me these dolls. Make sure you check out their website, the link will be in the description. Also don't forget to tell me what you think of these dolls in the comments, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And of course have a very, very Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!